Thanks for watching Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Facilitating unity and understanding among the religions of Utah is one of the goals of the Utah Valley Ministerial Association. Today, Linda P. Walton joins me to talk about some of the events associated with her organization. Thanks for being with us, Linda. Happy to be here. Tell us a little bit about what the Utah Valley Ministerial Association does. Well, in Utah Valley, we actually have about 40 faith groups that are represented in our organization. And so we have um, ways to communicate with all of those organizations. We have monthly meetings with the clergy involved. And then we take on projects that will bring us together. Uh, it's not an ecumenical group, meaning that we aren't all trying to become one group. It's an interfaith group. We want to value each uh, denomination's beliefs and we focus on religious liberty and charity because those are two things we can all agree on. That's right. And so do you find that <clears throat> that creates a really positive atmosphere and things are kept really uplifting? Yes. Um, in many cases in other organizations, it's kind of war all the time. Uh, and we don't like that idea. We want to respect and love each other. So our theme is from tolerance to love. We feel like you tolerate vegetables because they're good for you. <laughs> we don't want to tolerate each other. We want to love each other. So that's sort of the, the plan. That's a great theme. So what are some of the activities and events that you sponsor that helps to bring about that charitable feeling? Well, uh, the first one is we have an Easter sunrise service, which is coming up on March 31st. It's at 7 a.m. in the Zions Bank building on the eighth floor. So it's a gorgeous view when the sun does come up. Mm -hmm. And that brings everybody in the Christian community together. Then we also do the National Day of Prayer, which is always the first Thursday in May. Uh, the President of the United States declares that. And uh, so we get together and we have uh, speakers uh, from various denominations along with music and scriptures and prayers. And we try to bring the, the whole community together with that. So those are two kind of events that we get involved with. Then we also uh, do a lot of charity work. So we will work with United Way on their day of caring. Uh, we put a group together and uh, all work together on a project. And then a new thing that we're starting, uh, that we've just started this last year, is working with an organization called VOAD, which is Voluntary Organizations Active in Disaster. It was started about 40 years ago, uh, back in the Washington, D.C. area, and it helps to get different organizations like churches, clubs, even businesses involved with the Red Cross in responding to disasters. So it's a kind of a big job we're taking on, but what we're trying to do is throw a little wrinkle in it, and that is use the homeless as the people that we um, drill on, if you will, uh, to practice for major disasters. If a person's home burns down, it's no different than being homeless. You have the same problems. You've lost your prescriptions, you don't have your eyeglasses, you need clothing, place to live. And so, so we do that yeah. for the homeless uh, to kind of practice uh, for something larger. That's, that's incredible, and I bet you find that while everyone's working shoulder to shoulder serving, that's uh, you're, you're practicing that charity and mm -hmm. getting closer together. Yeah, if you have a regular ministerial meeting, sometimes some people will not come because another group is there. Hmm. They boycott it for that reason. Uh, but when you have a disaster, everyone's nice. Uh, so it's unfortunate that we have to have a disaster to get along well. But we'll take what we can get and then, right. then improve from there. <laughs> That's good. That's a good plan. And you have an interfaith club at Utah Valley University. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, I'm a chaplain over there, have been for about 18 years. Uh, we have an interfaith club that um, is open to everyone, including people without a faith, uh, if they're atheists, if they're agnostics, if they're sniffing around, uh, if they aren't sure if they want to be what their parents were. Maybe they want to be a more conservative version of what their parents were. Uh, you never know. Happens, yeah. And so in college, when people are deciding if they want to get married, what they want to do, what political party they are, maybe what religion they want to be, uh, we try to help them do that. Thanks so much for being with us, Linda. Give us your website so people can go there for It is utahvalleyinterfaith.org, and we have on there a list of all of the faiths with their meeting places, times, contact information. So if you're new to the area, you can go there, find out where the Baptist Church is, and, uh, and find your way there. Great resource. Thank you so much for being with us. You're welcome. At 11, it's our privilege to share with you information about events going on throughout our community. You can find out more about Utah Valley Ministerial Association on kbyu11.org. Click on the community tab there and you'll find all the information you need. 
Thanks so much for being with us, and we hope to see you next time on Community Connection.